morning everybody so today we're on Lake Oolagaw we're going to go for some blue cats uh, the lakes about foot low which is pretty low it's we've been in a drought here in Oklahoma so uh, it's October 26 I think I've been gone to Alaska for two months and uh, haven't haven't really got to fish since I've been home so this is gonna be a learning experience to kind of get my groove back on so come with me and uh, let's see if we can catch some big old blue cats So I've got a bunch of shad down here at the bottom. Uh, let me shine it around here for you. So this is how I catch my shad. Of course, you all that know me know that. There's some more shad right there. Look at that. So we're gonna use our, our taped Phytech. See if we can get down there on these. I'm sure we can. This should be a pretty easy catch. Should be a pretty easy catch, but I said that before, and uh, you know how that goes. Let's see what we got here. Look at there, look at there. Woo! Look at that. Well, that's a good good way to start the day. Not the biggest shad, but it'll work. That was fun. I want to uh, throw out a couple more times. Give that in a presidential pardon. So, I throw a six foot net. It's taped. It's kind of getting ratty. That tape sure helps. That way I can catch these dudes in the lake and not have to really worry about them you know I can catch them pretty deep with live scope so here we go see if we can get a better throw Come on, come on. Looks like we got some. Feels kind of heavy. Not a ton, but we'll take them. So we got the uh, bait catching out of the way, so let's uh, go try our first spot. We're gonna go to one of my favorite spots. Like I say, I haven't been on the lake in a while. Don't know what it's gonna do, what it's gonna produce. These fish are still here. Actually, since it's low, they're uh, they're closer together. <laughs> oh, wow. 
You know, the funny thing about us fishermen is uh, we tend to bitch a lot. Lake's too high, don't like that. Lake's too low, don't like that. Too much wind, can't fish my spots. Cold front come in. You know, today it's like for catfishing, it's not enough wind. Can't really make us happy. So we go out. You just got to go out and see if you're going to bite or not going to bite, you know, and then try to make up excuses for why it didn't work, I guess. It's hard to figure them out. Best thing you can do is go. Don't sit around. Because if this ain't right and that ain't right, you'll never go if you're waiting for everything to be perfect. All right. We're right up in there in the rocks. Kind of my standard setup. So today I'm going to run, uh, let's see here. So I got my little snap swivel. I like these for quick changes. Then I got a ball, you know, just a ball swivel. Pretty good size. And then I run a bead and then I run a one and a half uh, no roll sinker because there's no wind and uh, my, my theory is when they bite it and take off, there's less resistance. So they'll they'll get it in a little deeper and get a better hook set and uh i like running these chain swivels i firmly believe in them then you go on down and i, I don't i don't remember what size hook it i think it's a seven anyway i got a little uh floaty noise maker and that's kind of how i set it up these are the hachi i think uh catfish edge or whiskers i don't even remember but anyway they're good hooks and i snail them so i'll put a half a shad on each and that's it, throw it out on the bottom, two, two or three, four feet of water, see how it goes. You know, I was marking a ton of fish on my locator in uh, deeper water, like 14 foot. We're not going to play here very long. The shad are in deeper water. So uh, that's where we might go. Now, on this particular lake, these channels and some of the deeper water really loads up with small spoonbill paddlefish. They're not, they're not real big. I mean, they're like... Some of them's this big, you know, and some of them's, but they sure give you a lot of uh, false indications. You kind of got to know how to sort those paddlefish out from catfish and hybrids and all the other good stuff. I do not stay long in one place. I'm not like chasing a big fish. I'm chasing numbers did i mean a big fish is fine but we, we have small bait and we're not on a tournament or anything like that so we're just trying to get a hold of some fish and make a movie So uh, it's still the Dead Sea out here. We are just off the channel, and uh, but I got my uh, poles down. So we're gonna throw into deeper water. It's just worlds of spoonbill. I don't know about the catfish, but we're gonna find out. I think we got our first fish, or we had one. That gummit. Didn't get a good hook set in him. Look at those pretty fall colors out here. 
in Oklahoma. I mean, I've seen better, but we've been in a big drought. So uh, things are changing. Birds are here. Yep. Oh, got a bite. Or we have a spoonbill. What do we got going on here? They are so many spoonbill. Sometimes they hit your line. But. Yeah. Come on. Let's not be serious about it. Beautiful. Oklahoma's a beautiful place, fellas. Uh, is there one messing with it? Fish on, finally. Fish on. Boy, howdy. He's not big enough. First fish, though. We're going to give him a presidential pardon. Somebody, certain somebody forgot their dip net. Fish on. Doesn't feel very big. Starting to catch a few more though. We come way up north. I'm sitting in five feet of water, six six feet of water. I'm throwing backwards into a little deeper water. I was painting quite a few fish, but like I say, there's so many spoonbill up here. It's hard to distinguish. Anyway, there we go. I'm gonna keep them. I need some blue cats to eat. Don't let me forget there's a fish in there if I don't catch any more. So you ever wonder what I, I do when I'm up in Alaska? So here's some pictures. This one's a uh, fellow I got, a doll sheep, 38 inches. Um, here's some caribou. There's a, They start off in velvet, and then later on they turn to uh, slick horns towards... Um, no, around September 5th, it seems like they start losing their velvet and everything. And then I guide for grizzlies up in the Arctic. Actually, where I go is, is a Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. It's called Anwar. So, yeah, that's what I do. Sleep on the ground for two months out of the year and, and hunt stuff every single day. Fly in a lot of uh, airplanes. This is a super cub. I spend a lot of time in these super cubs flying in and out of... Uh, my little camping spot where they dropped me and my hunter off. So that's that's kind of my other lifestyle. I guess I should film a little bit more of that, but you get a lot of haters off YouTube. So I kind of keep that more private. Yep, let's get some fish. Fish on. Feels like a pretty good one. I was just now winding them all in. Not a bad one.
not that good. It's just been a while since I've caught a decent fish. Number two, three actually. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. <sighs> Slow day like today, we'll take him. He hit way out there. Well, these are all good eaters. Easy to clean. Easy to clean. We're starting to get a mess. Five, I think. Oh, he got off. Oh, I got him. Fish on. Fish on. You know, I moved spots and I've had a couple bites. This is a little better fish. Give me a little old hat on here so you all can watch. Come on, catfish. It's a good one here. Ugh. Ooh, that's cold on my belly. Decent fish. Fish on. Finally. Not a very big one. He hit like a good one. Good eater though. I moved out to deeper water. See if that'll help. As soon as I get on my phone, I catch one. Better fish. That 
That's a better one. Well, he's skinny though. Or she. Thought I seen something swimming, you know. He was up towards the top of the water running with it. Getting close to a limit, actually. Not very fast and furious, but we're catching them. Put two at a time on now. These dudes are real small, so that's the bait. <laughs> yep, and this one's got a little float on it. Two at a time. Another fish on. Look at there. Snagged him. Or he snagged himself. <laughs> Lucky it got him there. He'll probably live. All right, guys, it's about five o'clock. I'm gonna go one more stop. It's starting to cool off a little bit. Eh, it's been a pretty good day. I mean, we haven't like murdered them, but we've caught 10 or so. So uh, one more stop. Let's pull them out. Let's get a body count, huh? Nine and ten. That's it. Ten fish today. Like I say, not a bad day, not a awesome day though, but thanks for watching. Thanks for Coming along for the ride with me today. Starkey Outdoors, doing guided trips. So look me up, give me a call.